Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I am going to be making some nice Dalmatis uh, stuffed vine leaves, grape vine leaves. Um, I'm going to be doing mine non-vegetarian so that is I'm going to be putting some lamb in mine. Now uh, I've got this jar so they come in brine and this particular jar they sort of come out in sort of blocks like this and the first thing we've got to do is carefully um, unwrap and separate these and we'll t like I say carefully we'll take our time doing it and then once I've done that I'm going to give them a good rinse in some fresh water under the under our tap here just to wash that briny solution off them Alrighty, now the first thing I'm going to do to organise some stuffing for our Dalmatis is I've got one whole onion and I'm going to process this in my food processor along with about three cloves of garlic that I've just sort of roughly chopped. I've got a good big sort of squashed handful of parsley. I'm going to throw that in. That's um, continental parsley and just a couple of tablespoons of fresh dill leaves. Beautiful. Alrighty, so next thing I've got is I'm just going to mix up my stuffing now. I've got uh, 500 grams of minced lamb, or that's if you speak Australian, otherwise known as ground lamb. Uh, I'll put in my chopped onion, and parsley and dill, and garlic. Right, about a tablespoon of dry oregano. I've got a cup of arborio rice, uncooked, unwashed, um, otherwise known as risotto rice. So in that goes. And that's about it, except we want to give it plenty of seasoning. Alright, get that all mixed up. I'll get on with that and I'll get back to you. Alrighty, so I've got my lamb Dalmati mix all mixed up there. My rice. Now, um, obviously next step is to uh, roll some up. So, I've, um, like I said, I rinse these vine leaves. I probably just need to show you there's actually a difference on the sides of them so you, you want to fade the side with the ribs with the leaves you want on the inside as you can see on the outside it's sort of smoother so you have smooth side down and um, let's get on with it now the other trick I think with these is not to try and be too ambitious just remember that rice is going to swell a bit so you don't want it too loose because <laughs> it'll unravel but you don't want it too tight either or it'll burst so just a good little spoonful clean hands of course as always and let's get the back bits of these leaves and just sort of fold them across a little bit and fold the ends over like so and just finish rolling them up like so
Alrighty guys, so I've rolled up all those Dalmatis. Um, I ended up with about 24 um, good size ones. Um, yeah, next thing we need to do is just um, cook them and we're going to cook them gently. Um, but what you need to do is make sure you've got some leftover um, leaves and we're going to just put those as a bit of a buffer in the bottom of our pot here. Might as well um, put these last couple in. Right. Now I'm just going to lay my Dalmatis. Just put them in sort of like a ring around the outside and work our way in. Now we've got one layer there, we can go up another layer. So, now into that pot, I'm just going to put, pour in the juice of one lemon, all over those. We're going to get our good olive oil and give that a nice drizzle. Like so. Now I'm going to get a plate here and just gently sit them on top. In fact, I'm going to put a bowl on top of that as well, just for a bit of extra weight. And that's just to help them sort of not unravel too much. Alright. Now we'll just cover them. With some water, a little bit more. Alright, so they're just covered. I'm going to bring that up to... I don't want it in a rolling boil or anything, I just want to bring it up to a simmer. So I'll bring it up to a boil slowly, and then get it down to a low heat. And we'll cook those for approximately 45 minutes. We'll see how we're going. Alrighty guys, so yeah, those Dalmatis took about 45 minutes and all I did was take them out of that water and I've just let them cool down. Now you can eat them hot um, or cold, it's up to you really. My, my preference is when they're cooled down but I know some people do like them warm so and all I'm going to serve them with here is I'm just serving them as a snack really. I've just got some yogurt and I've put mixed some lemon juice through that and a clove of garlic. All right, <laughs> let's try one, eh? So yeah, they all held together really well. None of them split or fell apart, which is a good thing. <laughs> now I'm just going to take a bite and show you. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely no complaints in the flavour department. Really, really nice. Um, these are for me, by the way, so I can, uh, well, it's not double dip, but I can put my bitten bit of Dalmati in there and I'll try a bit with a bit of yogurt. Oh, yum. All 
Sorry, folks, you've got to get to it. So yummy, so delicious. Yeah, I know. Yeah, really nice. <laughs> I blow my own whistle, but they are nice. Um, I mean, they're just nice flavours, you can't go wrong. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I say it every single time, um, but I really mean it. I really appreciate you taking the time to hit that subscription button. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, can you just, um, yeah, do us a favour, jump on board the train here, uh, click that subscribe button, subscription button, whatever it says, and I'd really appreciate it. Alrighty, I will see you all next time.